Welcome back, everyone, to Vanilla Hoy 4. Using the Gotha Damarung DLC. I'm your host, Mr. German Rack Lover. Um, but last time we did really well. Well, as you can see, we capitulated the Brits. I've actually gone to war with the Irish just to like, clean them up. I've actually liberated uh, the Brits and have Rex Commissar at the Gross Britannia. Led by Oswald Mosley. I figured we could use the local leader there. Um, but yeah. He's here. He's having a good old time. He's got 8,000 manpower. No divisions, of course. We also have uh, Rex Commissar at Niederlande. We're not quite at peace, but. And Rex Commissar at uh, Belgian North Frankreich under Leon de Grel. Uh, so the peace deal wasn't great. Um, I guess Italy took Serbia. Bulgaria looking pretty nice, though. That's a nice Bulgaria. I like how Bulgaria ended up. Also released Pro Rex Protectorate, Berman and Marlin, and the general government still over there, too. So, uh, we took almost, almost all of Africa. Which is, this, this, this is really ugly. This is really ugly. Oh, man. But all of South Africa. We got all of Australia. Oh, I forgot we even had the Raj. Can I release like, the Raj as a puppet, maybe? Would we want to do that? Probably use manpower quite a bit. Um, I want like, like, oh, campaign instruction against Ireland. Sure, why not? Uh, we can't release anything else, unfortunately. Fede Karelia. Yeah. Um, but we do own parts of Canada, and I guess it, the Italians really wanted this part of Canada too. Ottawa and Toronto and Montreal. So it is what it is. Our goal in this campaign, uh, or at least this video, is to finish off Ireland, finish off the Nordic countries, and then go to war with the USSR. And then the last episode, maybe take out the USSA. USSA? USA. A um, couple comments included, you know, the AI has actually been improved, and yet it has been. It was much more difficult <clears throat> to take out the UK, but it's not impossible. You just got to re-navel invade, and you just got to be ready to have enough stuff going on. Oh, Operation Bomb. I guess you're doing that one too, huh? Switzerland poses the most disgusting and miserable people and political system. We can finally have time to see these moral enemies of the new Germany. <clears throat> to see to them. German army invincible. Uh, yeah. No, it's a critical strategic point. It would be an obvious point of attack for any, any enemy waiting to disrupt our steel trade with steel with Sweden. We're gonna risk our enemy setting up bases in the region. To obtain a good staging area for the invasion of Denmark or <clears throat> Norway, we need to move on Denmark first. Operation Green. Oh, well, we're already doing that. Crossing the Atlantic. We could, but I want to take out the USSR first. No thanks. Job guys, sending tanks into the mountains. Terrible idea. We're doing it anyways because um, the Italians want to go to war with the Swiss anyway, so might as well. And now I've got one hell of a fleet here. Which they don't have enough planes on them. So we're going to attempt to try to make more. And we are. Oh, we're on the map. We're out of a, a lot of armored cars, which makes sense. Uh -huh. We're still making a lot of stuff. We've we've got a lot of factories to use now. Uh huh. Back. Oh, who does not have uh, assigned? Oh, oh, the naval stuff. Good. There we go. We lost ours because we took ours from these guys. That's okay. Uh, and the Irish administration works comes out across Britannia. Yeah, of course. Very nice. I uh, closed the Burma Road to give China a harder time. Even though they're doing well against uh, Japan. Uh, I don't think we really need to do this too much. Oh, you know what? We'll send here first. We can take out Z uh, Luxembourg too, not Zurich. <clears throat> Winners can we strike DC? That's pretty much it. Alright. Hmm. We got all this stuff. Proclaim a new order. We need uh, all these guys gone. Let's see. What do we want here? Rommel. Hmm. I always do Rommel. This would be great to do. Walter Donberger. I'm okay with that one. And demand Swin uh, Swin Sweden, Sweden. I do want to try out Operation Felix. 
Well, Spanish Civil War, finally over, it's time for some pride Gibraltar from the bridge. As we can attack from the sea, however, we must assure loyalty from the Imperial Spanish to allow us through their territory. Considering their ideologies must, should not be difficult to get them to submit. I think it'd be great. Great. Mm, crossing the Atlantic. Hmm. Support a coup in Liechtenstein. Ah, Middle Africa. There are more territory in Africa than we than what we used to own that are of interest to us. With its immense natural wealth and region we've chosen to call it Middle Africa would benefit the right greatly. Hmm? And war with the USSR. We can focus our propaganda efforts on preparing the German people and the role of a righteous war with the USSR. Where are you at? Oh, you're right here. Well, these guys are encircled. We still have our Marines here. Boop. Very nice. Now we actually have a fleet we can naval invade. And we do have marines, so. Oh, someone also asked, what well, is my template? Um, I'm using infantry divisions, and they're only 21 combo with because I don't have enough artillery yet. Um, but I throw an anti tank, anti air, which helps out so much, it's not funny. Um, oops, sorry, sorry. I'm thinking about using some of these. Super heavy howitzers and super heavy self propelled howitzers. Just so much extra damage, not funny. Um, I don't have very many of them though. Other templates uh, Panzer divisions, they're only 20 combat width. Nothing special. Armored recon, engineers, support artillery, maintenance companies. I could actually probably get rid of this for something else if we need it. Uh, motorized, they're actually only 18 combat width, which you do need to increase their size as well. I do want to make them mechanized though. Um, a few. These guys are okay. Marines, 27 combo width, which are pretty nice. Oh, I did throw on the super heavy artillery here. Recon might not be bad for them. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty standard stuff. I just knew we couldn't take on the USSR yet, just because we don't have enough divisions. So. Especially infantry just to hold the line. <coughs> Uh, rockets, let's swipe it at a time, not ideal. Hmm. Naval Vefas. What we got here? We gotta make sure we have enough planes. We should have enough planes for the USSR. If we have enough planes for the UK, we should have enough planes for the USSR. Hello? What do we have? For Mecklenburg? Ah, Nuclear. I've heard of you more recently. Yeah. A nuclear reactor. Oh yes. Experiments have proven that splitting atoms through vision releases vast amounts of energy. Yes. Very nice. Enable Velfa. Uh yeah, we could probably use that too. T41. I do know we need to go to war with the USSR, like to do historically, but not well. Uh, fuel, I guess. Well, they're desperately trying to hold out. I'll give them that. I'll send you guys here. They move fast enough. I need the ships here. Very nice. Good job, guys. Auction? We are okay. Amphibious pioneers jungle. Amphibious. Nope. Goodbye. That'd be great. I'm gonna have a cup of coffee here too. Figures much. 
Um, can we do anything about that? <clears throat> oh, we want to begin heavy water production. Oh, yeah. We need Telemach. Hmm. Oh, sweet sweeze. Seize gold reserves. Sure, why not? Where are we at for that one still? Economy conquest, 35.5%. It's not bad. Do we have any extra planes here now? Uh, what are you? No, torpedo bombers. Oh, you need some fighters then. Looking not bad. A lot of carrier bombers. Fighters, you need at least one more. I need one of these. Um. You know what? Oh, hold on. Get the entire army to move. I want you to invade from Wilhelmshaven. Guys can do that. I don't think we'll need very much to take these guys out, but we'll see. You guys are great as well. Who's actually like <clears throat> not in our faction besides National Spain, Portugal, huh? Turkey might be a good one to get too. Oh, look at this. Mm, sub, surface ship, Bacod. Just for funsies. I love nuclear research. <clears throat> exactly. There we go. And yeah, looks good. And we'll go as soon as these guys are ready. Well, they're ready enough now. Only 37, huh? That's not very much. Hmm, 500, 300. I could use more cast. Naval bombers are okay. Oh, maybe we should not be training. Denmark surrenders. Okay. <laughs> we received a telegram from the Danish government, and Thorvald Stauning outlines terms of surrender. However, if we're willing to recognize and repeat their respective sovereignty and territorial integrity, they will lay down their arms and become a de facto protector under us. Um, question though. So, no vegan? Hmm. They're a puppet of us. They're so democratic. I want to see what that was like. Okay. Well, maybe I should just straight up. Kill them all off. The general government. Ah. We need more support here. That's going to cost quite a bit, but that's okay. Alright then. So be it. Like I said, this is historical-ish, but not really, as you can tell. Oh, Japan clear one in the Philippines. That's pretty early for August. All right. Mm-hmm. And they got naval bombers. More approved. We're gonna need more. Mm. 
Japanese naval coordination. Sentinels of the Pacific. Oh, any Luxembourg gone? Oh, we'll go to the lower one the next. What is this one? Ah, except for protection. Look at that. So even nicer from the Imperial Spanish government regarding your offer to properly protect them, and they happily accept their full protection. Awesome. <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome aboard, Franco. Not like they really had a choice, but yeah, it's all right. Hmm. Why not? I saw friendly-minded plenipotentiary. Oh, look at that. Seize all of the Utlan. They refuse to deteriorate relations. Ah, should be protector right now. They assume power. Then the best. Just like we had foreseen, the Danish government buckled under pressure and we successfully installed a plenipotentiary to govern the German protector of Denmark. Standard grip on the country and bring closer to our cause. Nice. Is there war with Sweden? 125 days. Is there a focus for that? Demand Sweden. Ah, oh, we need Norland first. Hope that's enough to uh, really punch a hole through them. <coughs> we'll see. If it doesn't go well, well then, how do we do it? Nah, we're good. As we should be. Training. But anti tank is nice. Ah. Where are you at now? <clears throat> I was wondering why I was taking so long. Hello. Stronghold network. Oh, we still haven't gotten this one, huh? Repel enemy advances and secure its key strategic location. Well, all right. Sounds good to me. Hmm. Isotope separation. Nerve supply reactors with a nuclear fuel. We need to decide on a process for separating the useful isotopes of uranium from the rest. There are a number of proposals for separation facilities, but the two front runners, gaseous and centrifugal. Gaseous is a proven technique. Centrifugal. Gain secret resource procurement. More efficient. I like efficiency. Operation Isabella. I like that idea. With only Portugal standing between us and the complete control of the Iberian Peninsula, our next move must be take them, make them submit to us. Given the local government, but ensuring their loyalty to us should allow everything we need from their terms of lands, infrastructure, and military infrastructure. Where are you guys at? You know what? I have another job for you, real quick. Nice job, guys. Good job. Transit rights in Sweden. Although we have successfully gained a foothold in Scandinavia, uh, transporting troops and equipment through the Danish belts can be hazardous, of course. Convoys are often operated at enemy air and naval attacks when out in the open sea. Therefore, minimizing the use of sea lanes as much as possible would be beneficial to our warfare. As such, it may be worth putting pressure on the neighboring Sweden to allow us to access their trains and communication networks. 
However, we shall have to be tactful and chip away gradually their neutrality if we avoid them becoming a base of operation for our enemies. Nice rights for wounded. Let's see what they say first. That length tanks. Well, I'll get that and stuff later. Telegram crisis. Sweden permits transit wounded. Sweden's permitted our wounded troops and those on leave to travel via their railway network back to German Reich. They do insist that only unarmed personnel may, be, may do so, however, and strict quotas will be in place to ensure there are never too many troops in Sweden at any given time. Again, access to the communications. <coughs> Excuse me, the telegram crisis. A great student, Hitler, has a... Uh, Uh-oh. That's not good. It's in a heartfelt telegram wishing the king and the German protector of Denmark a happy birthday, but received a short and cold reply in return. The nation now realizes the severity of their insult and suggests sending Crown Prince Frederick to go apologize to Adolf Hitler personally. We could use this occasion to impose stricter control over the subject. He's been enjoying quite liberal privileges under jurisdiction. I think we'll be fine here. Don't worry about that, Sweden. Don't worry about it. Pulling an early sub is fine. Good, we got Oslo. Pretty good. Alright, so what's going on? Are you guys still training? I don't think so. Nice. Happy 1941, everybody. Sure, we'll take stuff. No, guys, we got it. We got it. Don't worry about it. Give me some cannons. Yay! I like a couple guns, a couple hundred artillery pieces, nice. Good. Oh, sure, why not? So these Luxembourg gold reserves, I mean, there's not much there, but okay. Why did they cancel a non-aggression pact with me? All right then. <clears throat> I do like backhand blow. I'm not sure what tactics do very very much, but I know for a fact backhand blow is quite good. But I like it. Mm -hmm. Great job, guys. Ah. Why not? Now that we've established a new civilian administration in Norway, we must decide not only what the purpose of the new subject, but also lead the people in the region. Ensure that the policies are properly implemented. Should we replace a German politician in the position of Trax Kobasar? Should we utilize the local collaborator? To Bolvin? A oh, Quisling. Ooh. Fascist Lackey? I like the. This guy. Look at this guy. Oh, he's kind of handsome. Yeah. Sure. Oh. Hey, Santon. At war. Hmm. doing up first in Isabella. Um, I do want to go to war with Sweden first. Should protect Denmark's cases? Jutland. Look at that. We offer to take over the protection of Jutland, apparently. 
Broke something inside of Vernabas. He slumped down in his chair after receiving a request and simply nodded his head. Oh, good, 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 good. Ah, the way it really should be. Hmm. Battalion modifier, line infantry, more organization. That helps. Special forces attack. All marines, more attack defense. Marine commandos. Expo trade for any coastal province, which is actually pretty strong. One level damage to all strategic state buildings after any successful naval invasion. Get more breakthrough for Marine Commandos. Amtraks. I'll be honest, I don't think I need to really Navy invade too much more in this campaign. So we don't really need that. Let me go expeditionary units. Good, 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 good. good. Stream allows access to telephone and telegraph networks. Communication between Berlin or forces in Norway have been made substantially easier, thanks to the co cooperation of the Swedish government. Perhaps we should avoid antagonism any further, so we don't exclusive concessions. We need military access. We're going to try to think. I know I'm waiting until 42 to go to war with uh, the Soviets, but it's alright. Now, as the uh, project advances, uh, Carl Henrik Emil Becker, the lead scientist, must now decide how, how involved he'll be in the day to day operations. He can choose to oversee construction directly in the field, ensuring precise execution and remaining in the office, focusing on strategy and planning. Oversee work personally, office planning, and work for. Mm. Good office planning is fine. Annex the German Protectorate. Oh, I love Denmark. Well, what was Denmark at one point? Oh, we get the units too. Look at that. Oh, we got, we got Greenland too. That was great. Thank you for playing, guys. Welcome to the country. Uh, Philippines are gone. All right. Ooh, nice. Tiles, huh? Needs rubber, though. So you guys are done and finished. Now we're gonna make another army down here. Um, that will be in the southern portion of the military. Hmm. On Falkenhausen. It's fine. Where you guys at? Ah, you're up there. Supplies suck. Pretty normal. Pretty normal. Oh, the cleaning we gotta do. Nope. Operation Isabella demands of Sweden. The steel mines in northern Sweden are a vital asset to our military industry. We cannot leave a chance whether they keep trading with the Swedish or not. This trade route needs to be secured as soon as possible. Uh, Italy demands occupation of Dalmatia. Mussolini of Italy's citizenry and ultimatum uh, demanding us to grant Italy occupation of the region of Dalmatia. If not comply with Benito Mussolini's demands, we'll likely have a military conflict in our hands. Um, you know what? I don't mind having a conflict with them later on. If they can have it for now, it's fine. They allow military access. Sweden's given us complete military access to the country. It only does is aid our operation in Scandinavia, increase their influence over Sweden, and prevents them from joining our enemies. Easily, at least. I'm trying to design a reactor. I'm choosing what material to use for the moderator. Let's well, dedicate the design of the entire reactor. We can use heavy water, we can use graphite, both of which other pros and cons. So I'll use purified graphite. Heavy water will be cheaper. We'll go with that one. How much longer do we have to wait for Sweden? Mm, we'll be done soon enough. Italy claims the Montenegrin throne. Mussolini's claim the Montenegrin throne to hand it over to the Italian state and the crown to unite under one banner. It is slightly delusional, though not too far from reality, as a queen of Ita Italy's Montenegrin. I should answer. Well, 
Smoke Eater still looks so nice. They should probably get Devar. Maybe not. Swing up. We hope she'll benefit us both. Let us hope that our profitable arrangements fall by many more. Where mm -hmm. the USSR? We can focus on the propaganda efforts of preparing the German people and the world for righteous war on the Soviet Union. Yeah. Maybe we won't go to war with them. The Swedes. Hello? Planes looking. Let's see. Fighters, fighters. Should each get one. Looking pretty good. How about this groups? Looking good. Rikes come start Iberian. Oh, it just takes it over with my puppet, too. Uh, we need a German official. Oh, but Franco, he just lost everything. Holy crap. He's got basically all not Spanish parts of Spain, except for Mallorca. Parliament. Hey, helicopter, look at that. Sure. Well, nice. You know, honestly, I think Turkey would be a good goal. Oh, hello. Are we just finding out somebody already? Oh, yeah, Sweden. My bad. I actually have Sweden anyway, still. They literally gave us everything we wanted, and uh, it's just a, not enough. Shipments of oil. Oh. Where are you guys at? Hanging out. Nice. Oops. There's a lot of naval bombers. Here, I guess, frankly. I really wanted the cast. There you go. Well, so I do want this front opened up too. 375. Holy crap. Okay, maybe not. That's my bad. What's this? Sure. We just go to war with them, anyways. 
So mean. Oh, I'll call you in. There you go. We don't have any bouncing bombs, huh? Oh well. There you go. Ah, cannons would be nice. Armor maintenance companies? Why not? Sort of armor protection? Great. 1942. Better artillery pieces? Yes, please. You guys looking good. Fuel refining? We're definitely going to need more fuel from where we're going to need that from. Ah, super heavy railway guns. Yes. I like that. Smash the screens by the speeds. And they're dead. Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely awesome. Ah, uh, too bad we're destroying their ships. I'd like to keep them. The after cruisers. We're gonna repurpose them. But oh well. <clears throat> Offer from disgruntled Cossacks. So after becoming more and more clear of our intention to kick in the rotten door of the Soviet Union, many of those who lost in the Russian Civil War have approached us wishing for a chance to bring an end to the current government. Among those who are Don Koban Cossacks. <coughs> Pieter Krasnov and Andrei Shkuro, who wish to fight for us, should accept their aid. Sure, why not? Ah. Cossack and cavalry. Interesting. Yeah, I'll throw them there. And in the meantime, as we're slowly going to get ready for this, I really want to take out Turkey. Is there any way we can take out Turkey? The friend Turkey. Oh, I don't want to puppet them. Final blow to communism. Hmm. Middle Africa, of course. I took Turkey's Turkey is an admirable path towards modernization in the country's control of the Black Sea, the Lobosphorus, and the Dardanelles. Bringing Turkey into our sphere of influence should be a first priority. Well, you can't go through that way. That's fine. Whatever. Now, sending spies to Russia. Not going to be a good time. It's going to be a very bad time, really. Now we give him Bessarabia, too. Hmm. Got a lot of air and naval stuff. We need a few more armored cars still. Get really these more planes. Closer sport specifically. Stockholm's going to fall. Thank you, Stockholm. There should be no interruption when we take out the USSR. Should be none. I know I'm sure there's supply issues and whatnot, but still. Midget subs, super heavy battleships. Yeah, that sounds like something the Germany would do. Uh, what are we missing here? An Obelbion? Land warfare. We need a new scientist. Land warfare. Lurch? Here, you're smoking, so we're gonna go with you. Wait, what? I'll get you two. Oh, didn't work. There we go. Yay! Is that not it? Italy sends military support? Sure, thanks guys. Another nuclear research place. Well, Sweden sees its Landsvek. Swedish Securities Control of Landsvek, a company we operate alongside of the Swedish developed armor vehicles. While Landsvek utility has reduced in the recent years, a clear sign the Swedish wishes to distance themselves from the Reich. Yeah, 
and floats the Middle East. Though we circle have little in common with the Middle East, none can deny that the area is of interest to us. We should spread our influence in the area to ensure that we have some of the diplomatic weight in the area should it be needed. How are they not dead yet? Like, bro. Of course, someone can capture already. Oh, we need to go over here too. Um, that's the case, it's fine. Probably re probably improve our ships as well. I mean, these are all ripe. Cruiser hulls. I'm not even touched this, have I? Yeah, I have. Okay. Get some cruiser hulls. Even though I prefer subs, but we haven't even researched any of the other subs, so. There you go. I haven't played a question of war in a long time. I'm not sure why I thought of that, but quite a long time we've not played as that. Mod. Alright. I'll see. Spy's really bad here. But what do you expect, you know? So we're good over there. Some, uh, stuff like that. Some airplane bases, bases, bases. And boop, boop. And then more boop, boop. There you go. Can you go? Thank you. Very nice. Our first nuclear reactor has been successfully tested, proving the feasibility of controlled nuclear fission. This breakthrough promises a new era of energy production and potentially much more. Give their information classified. Celebrate the public achievement publicly. They might benefit from this? Uh, confirm it. As much as you want to boast about it, it's best not to. Oh, matter of priorities, attack. Designing a new class of battleships allows us the opportunity to focus on efforts improving our ability to dominate naval battlefield. Which Heavy guns? Speed. Less service ability. Super heavy battleship hull. Light guns. It's either heavy guns or speed. Um, I mean, they already hit so hard. They're already so slow, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go speed. That's probably the wrong answer, but that's okay. I the Middle East. I love the Middle East. Middle Africa. Thank you. Job, guys. And it's just a matter of time before they all like just perish. If that's the case, uh, I really don't want my tanks here. Because you need to be in prim proper position and strength before we roll out. I'm probably gonna actually increase the strength of our tanks too. Um anywhere good to really attack? Probably in the south near where it was Ukraine. But they have so many divisions that I might not use them immediately. We'll see. Of course, the southern front's going to be a little bit weaker, since I only have only so many divisions here. Yeah. Trade negotiations with Iran? The Middle East is a resource-rich area, especially in oil, and we stand to gain greatly from trading with these countries. We ensure a steady flow of vital resources and deprive our enemies from the same resources at the same time, strengthening us and weakening them. Influence Iraq. Oh, yeah. Civil war will break out if they get too high. Oh, that's nice. So repair the mines. Oh, yeah. That's going to take a while. Okay. Anything else here? Versify elite forces. Oil fields. Ooh. That would be very good and smart to do. Ah, Sweden. Thank you for buying. You gave us everything we wanted, but we still wanted more in the end. We wanted you, literally. Good job, guys. Ah! Battleship. You know, I don't think it really mattered too much for now. Go home and do that. And go home and do that, too. Get ready for the big war. Iran? What is the Shah Pahlavi seems to be an unreasonable and one wise leader who couldn't care less for what is best for his country. We'll turn elsewhere to find what we seek. That snake. And then the final blow to communism. We'll get there eventually. We're going to reintegrate Luxembourg and Alsace Lorraine. With a successful reconquest of the historically German areas, we can now begin the process of the reintegration back into the Reich. The populations must be allowed to do the patriarch duty for the fatherland. Spend SS recruitment? Requirements to join the SSR Stephen. The process itself has been described as a growth pass through the eye of a needle. Well, requirements must remain high to ensure a top quality force. The recruitment can be expanded in other ways that doesn't entail lowering our standards. Autarky achieved. 
We finally achieved our ambitious goal of becoming fully self-sufficient. Our nation has become abundantly rich with natural resources, which only strengthens us further, making us unstoppable. Oh. We're not a world of major country. We can't do that one. Okay. Um, we're still trying to do Plan Z, but I think that failed already. Woo. Rocketry innovations. Uh, the next great leap in aeronautical development is within a grasp. Our engineers have worked tirelessly on perfecting rocket propulsion, which could have major ramifications on utility in our pursuit of becoming masters of the sky. Well, we're going to try it now. Let's see what happens if we go to war with them. The Finnish continu Continuation War. Oh, we probably won't call all of our guys in, probably. Uh, Finnish military forces have launched their planned attacks against the Soviet positions in cooperation with our agreement. With the aid of our Finnish brothers in arms, we managed to stretch the Soviet front over an even greater length, pushing them to a breaking point. Victory's at hand. Let's we'll see what happens. And I know they want to attack us, Hans Krab, uh, or Klaus from the Soviet Union. A declaration of hostility between us and the Soviets, our military attaché led by General Major Hans Krab, has been recalled a few weeks in advance and recently back, came back in Berlin. He's not ready to serve on the Eastern Front, seeing that he's experienced and knowledge of the Soviet Armed Forces about, that we need in order for a successful invasion of the territory. We need some military intelligence. we break the multiple Ribbentrop Pact. Um, in all honesty, I don't plan on um, moving too much yet. Um, our guys are, as you can see, attacking. Oh! And we just got bombed. Here. Interesting. And I don't mind them attacking. Ooh, raids executed. That's fine. Interesting. Being on the receiving end of that. I have not seen that yet. I'm glad I, we saw that, though. Uh, we lost a thousand. They've already lost 30 some thousand against us. Agent captured. I mean, we're going to lose all, pretty much all of our agents, probably. We've already lost <laughs> quite a few of them. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, we do not have good stacking penalties here, of course. Uh, we're trying to build up our supply bases. I just want to see what would happen initially. And the Metacus is fine. They can't beat our divisions whatsoever. So, matters to the priorities of defense. Our top naval commanders gave us an important impossible task to make this ship and I invincible. And while we know it's impossible, we can just try to make it so. This time we should be our priority. Reinforce armor and hull. Anti air artillery. Anti torpedo measures. Reinforced armor. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Hey, you came to join the fun. How's the air superiority looking? That's looking green. I don't mind them attacking him. Mean, they were, I mean, obviously, there's the Soviet Union. The casualties don't really matter very much. But, still. Uh, what else do we have here? And still, Alf. Uh, Alfragstatik. Our military has long practiced Alfragstatik, our mission command, emphasizing decentralized command structure and individual initiative. This has led to flexibility and autonomy, enhancing our ability to adapt and succeed in unforeseen situations. It's paramount that we continue to stretch for forces to be ever victorious. Oh, that's good. Yeah, why not? Even better radar? I love that idea. I should probably use that here right there, too. Ah, we'll be fine. What is this? A spy promoted, demoted, whatever. Campaign against them? Eh, that's fine. Pure objective. Oh. Oh. The German armed forces must be prepared uh, to crush the Russian rapid campaign. Oh. Well, maybe I don't want to do that. Because we probably won't. What's this? Are you going to the African Shoes Trooper? Sure. The Ministry Battalion, Engineer Company, and Cavalry Recon Detachment Battalion to African Shoes Trooper, and Militia Battalion, that's got a Shoes Trooper. Definitely. I like that a lot. Demand military access through Bulgaria. Must demand military access to Bulgaria even if they do not join our pets in the Balkans. Wow, that's a weird, ugly color. Oh, it's that kind of bronze color. So our troops can use the Bulgarian border as a base of operations to which launch a base of Greece? Sure. Sure. I figured they would say so. Hmm. Jet engines? Absolutely. Fins are not doing so well. Well, they pushed it. Oh, they're, they're actually doing pretty well. I don't think a full frontal assault will do very much for us. Oh, nice job, guys. Yeah, our navy. I mean, really, it's the UK navy that we stole. Doing really well. You don't need to build your own navy once you can steal the UK's. Uh huh. So we want to do this. Could we? Do we have the sapper broken? No. Oh, it was so close. So close. Could we push in? 
We do have green air. They have a lot of planes, but we got a lot of damage going on too. Especially in the north, especially with the infantry doing okay. It's not great infantry, it's it's infantry, you know. It's nothing fantastic. We'll be losing a lot of guys here, unfortunately. Supply's not great, of course. And we're gonna really rack up our own casualties here. Group anti air. It's gonna be uh a big old struggle. Ah, well, we can try it since we got it here. Doesn't go well. It's all right. Get in Jogava. Jogava. Yeah. Ah, we captured them all, or rescued them all. We could get a collaboration government. That'd be awesome. Center's not moving much at all, but we have just encircled more than an army. Um, what do we have? Panzer Grenadier. Our military doctrine rests on mobility and will depend on how well our motorized troops perform. Neither infantry nor panzer divisions will be successful in their advancements without proper support. By integrating mechanized infantry with their spearheads, we'll ensure our force maintains superiority in offensive operations. Look at that. And what do we got here? We got at least 12 here. Let's make that 13. 14. 15. 15. 16. 17. 21. 26. 26 plus 28, 54 divisions. Alrighty. That's a massive blow. Now the southern front's going to be pushing pretty darn hard now. That's really nice. Good job, guys. Nah, it's not going to spell the end of the Soviet Union just because they lost two armies. No, God, no. Ah, we're going to lose two more divisions up there. Nice. We lost about half a million. They have about 339 more divisions left. Okay. The center is not doing great. The southern front is doing fantastic. The northern front is doing great. It's November. It's alright. It's a little cold out. Get our guys a couple more jackets. Sure, you can diversify if you want. I don't care. Spend the general government administrative areas? Yeah, why not? Campaign instructions? Sure. Search for weapon caches in Pizamo. Troops will conduct a thorough investigation of the finished weapons cache case in Pizamo in order to allocate. Locate and seize all weapon caches in the state. Sure, why not? Finish resistance. Oh. I should put it up there. You know what? To save fuel, we we'll go home. We are blitzing across the southern front. I want to, like, go north and concentrate our forces up here so that we can actually, like, just cut them off. Go. Just go straight through them. That'd be awesome if you could. Ooh, I lost an early sub. That's okay. It's only an early sub. Uh, might as well. Mountaineers, rain, uh, snow. Mountains, snow. I want to go with snow for now. What do we got here? Uh, let's see. Who is this? Messerschmitt. Uh, less agility. Mm. Oh. oh yeah. Well, you're not. You're not even. You can't even use those. Okay. Um. Can we please get here? I think that'd be delightful. Keep those guys in place. Commando training. Good job. This guy's very smart. Good luck. Well, come on, get in there. And we made another Nunchukuma, look at that! It's an even bigger Nunchukuma than the last time. So you just gotta have a little push, and the whole rotten structure will come crumbling down. It's very nice. Oh, way bigger than the last times. It's beautiful. Great! Absolutely wondrous. Oh, look at all this stuff. Oh, we found the Navy. Oh, thanks, Italy. Must be really bored. We got tons of planes here. Oh, they're just shredded. Oh, disgusting. Oh, and the gun, too. Finland is not having fun, but we are slowly approaching. Actually, quickly approaching. 
uh, where they're at. So. Oh, we have all of Ostland already? Nice. Go ahead. They need a German official. Who? Uh, or something there. That is a huge... Ostland's really far south. Holy cow. He's a political collaborator. Reichskommissar? Yeah, why not? Very nice. Still can't quite take Crimea, yeah? that's okay. Last two thirds of a million. We've killed off a few hundred divisions already so far. Not bad. I'm gonna send you balls deep into Russia this time. For collaboration in Lokot. Following the occupation of the Bryansk, Kursk, and Orel Oblast, armies hatched a plan to utilize local collaborators based in Lokot to more easily govern the region, while simultaneously being able to have them muster more units to fight the anti Soviet cause. <clears throat> and so, Robert and I are army group that are supposed to war in the region. Should you authorize the establishment of this local autonomy? Hmm. I'm the last I've captured. During the most recent enemy retreat, a high ranking Soviet general has been captured by forces. In our custody, this general, Andrei Vlasov, has been professes anti-Bolshevism and has now uh, proposed raising divisions of captured Russians that will fight alongside us against Stalinism. I don't want you to focus on the south. An ally against Bolshevism is welcomed. Nah, we don't need him. We're not winning in the north, but we're going to win in the south. Hopefully. And not for captured. Very nice. Mm, better anti air. We're going to need more uh, supply hubs and whatnot. Of course, I'd, we actually have quite a few around here, and it's not bad. Uh, just that they're all cut off and they're not working yet. Well, at least some of them are. Hmm. It is what it is. Moscow Armistice? What do you mean they feel nothing but betrayal? We are literally on the doorstep of Leningrad. Wow. Way to give up. So far, it's not bad. We'll probably need to stop our attack and then, uh,. Yeah, we'll stop our attack real quick. And kind of reconvene, and then uh, in the next episode we'll take them out. I think that's a good idea. So, if you enjoyed this episode... Oh, uh, you know what? Let me read one more at least first. Uh, what do we have here? Establish a ski Jaeger to ensure that our armed forces maintain their effectiveness and adaptability in all weather conditions. We must match the art of winter warfare. To this end, we'll train and equip specialized mountain troops. And then our ski Jaeger to operate effectively in snowy mountainous terrain. Establish the Africa Corps. To be able to disrupt our enemy's spy lines, secure vital resources and strategic positions, and stick the war out of Europe and onto the foreign shores. Advanced Pans Research. Allocating resources to research and co develop cutting-edge tank technologies will yield new insights and break the results. Also enhance our combat capabilities, making our Panzers even deadlier. That's cool. And then, um, I wouldn't mind getting Borman, I guess. Hess is gone. Oh, Goebbels. The Fuhrer always has a special place in its innermost circle for those that can help maintain and support the people. As a close follower and skilled public speaker, allowing Goebbels so the relative freedom to act should move, prove most beneficial to us. And of course, we can integrate them and uh, expand recruitment. So... Uh, you know what? Japanese naval cooperation. We must learn from the Japanese, particularly regarding naval matters. By having a joint technology effort, we can make sure to make the most out of each other's knowledge and reduce the amount of time spent on reinventing what we as the joint force already have access to. So, in the next episode, we'll hopefully be fine. Bulgaria, I know you want a coast, but uh, that's a bit too much. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we'll finish off the Soviet Union. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.